Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Epson or HP printer is not working after updating Windows 10. So if you have Epson or HP printer and you are unable to make a printout after updating Windows 10, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So if you have Windows 10 version 2004, then you have to go ahead and download and install this update. So go ahead and check what kind of version you have right now. So go to the start menu then click on settings click on system scroll down and click on about scroll down and here you can see I have Windows 10 version 2004 so if you have version 2004 install this update if you have version 1909 install this update if you have version 1903 install this update so make sure that you go ahead and check which version you have in Windows 10 settings and accordingly you can go ahead and install the update so to install the update copy this link the link is provided in the video description then go to any browser and open this link and this will take you to Microsoft update catalog website and go ahead and copy this update these updates are provided in the video description so copy it and paste it and then click on search now here you can see number of updates over here so these are for different systems so this is for ARM64 based system and this is for Windows Server x64 based system and again Windows Server then it's Windows 10 version 2004 for x86 based system and the last one is Windows 10 version 2004 for x64 based system so you have to go ahead and check what kind of system you have so go to the start menu click on settings go to system once again and then scroll down and click on about and here you, you will be able to see what kind of system you have so here system type 64 bit operating system x64 based processor so i have x64 so you have to go ahead and select this so make sure that you select your system type make sure that it's matching and then click on download now once you click on download you will see this window and here you will be able to see the hyperlink so click on it and then once the download is done click on it and then install the update and then restart the computer and then go ahead and check your printer so I'll show you for uh, Windows uh, 10 2004 version here you can see it's uh, KB4567523 this one so I'll show you on June 18 2020 this update was released and here if you scroll down here you can see improvement and fixes addresses an issue that might prevent certain printers from printing so once you go ahead and install this update that should go ahead and fix the problem for Windows 10 version 2004 similarly if you have 1909 copy this update and then go to Microsoft catalog website and then paste it over here and then click on search and check your system and according as per your uh, you know system go ahead and select the uh, file and go ahead and download it if you have Windows 10 version 1903 then copy this update and paste search it over here and then go ahead and download the update from Microsoft catalog website after you install the update restart your computer and then test your printer if not resolved then please follow the steps shown in this video the first step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle go ahead and turn off your printer so go ahead and switch off your printer then unplug the power cable from the printer wait for a few seconds and after a few seconds you can go ahead and plug in the power cable back to the printer and then you go ahead and start your printer and then go ahead and check your printer still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall and reinstall your printer to uninstall go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on devices and then click on printers and scanners and here you will be able to see your printer so if you have Epson you will be able to see your Epson printer if you have HP you will be able to see HP printer so select your HP or Epson printer just for example I am showing you just once you select your printer then click on remove device this will go ahead and uninstall your printer once you click on remove device after you remove your printer after you uninstall your printer then restart your computer so go to the start menu then click on power icon then click on restart and after the restart again go to the settings so open settings once again 
then again go to devices then go to printers and scanners and then click on add printer or scanner now once you click in click on it it will go ahead and find your hp or epson printer make sure that your printer is on and once you you see the name of your printer over here then click on it and then click uh, go ahead and add your printer to your computer now in case if you are using usb cable to connect uh, your printer to the computer then make sure that you connect the usb cable from your printer to the usb port of your computer and then you start your printer and you should be able to see your printer over here now in case you don't see the printer over here in case you are using usb cable then again click on add and go ahead and add your printer now the next step is to run printer troubleshooter to run printer troubleshooter go to the start menu once again click on settings and then go to update and security then click on troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooter and here you will be able to see printer so click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter and then after that select your printer and then complete the troubleshooting once the troubleshooting is done go ahead and restart your computer and then check your printer now the next step is to go ahead and clear and reset the print spooler to reset print spooler go ahead and type in services in windows search box and then make a right click on services then click on run as administrator and find print spooler so go ahead and type in p and here you can see print spooler just double click on print spooler and make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and go ahead and stop this service first so to reset first of all we will stop it so click on stop now once you click on stop click on ok and you can close this after you sp stop the print spooler go to this path this path is also provided in the video description copy this and you can just paste it in windows search and here you can see this folder open this folder and if you have any files and folder over here go ahead and delete so select everything from here and then make a right click and delete so just go ahead and empty this folder so once you uh, open this uh, path go ahead and empty this folder and then after you you know delete all the files and folder from this folder start the print spooler service once again so go ahead and type in services once again make a right click then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and again find the print spooler so just type p and here you can see print spooler and make a double click and then make sure the startup type is set to automatic and now click on start and then click on ok and after that you can go ahead and check your printer now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the printer driver so first of all you have to go ahead and uninstall the printer from device manager so open device manager just make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager and here you will be able to see your printer so here you can see print queue sometimes it's hidden so click on view and then click on show hidden devices then you will be able to see your print queue so expand print queue and then here you will be able to see your epson or hp printer device so go ahead and select your printer and then you have to go ahead and make a right click then click on uninstall this is just an example so make sure that you select your printer uh, your epson or hp printer then make a right click then click click on uninstall then click on uninstall and after the uninstall is done go to start menu and then restart your computer and after the system restart log into your computer and then you have to reinstall the printer driver from hp or epson website so if you have hp go to hp website so go ahead and type in hp support in google search just type in hp support in google search and then go to hp website and once you are in once you are on hp website click on software and drivers select and click on software and drivers and then click on printer now enter the model number of your printer over here and then click on submit or you can select your printer from here and this is just an example i'm showing you how what needs to be done make sure that you select your printer or enter the model number of your printer and once 
you can go ahead and use this app hp smart app which will help you to install driver and connect your printer or you can simply go ahead and uh, install the driver so you can go ahead and here you can see uh, you have the print and scanner driver and accessories so click on download and then install the hp driver on a computer and after the installation is done go ahead and connect your printer once again now in case if you have epson go ahead and type in epson in google search and then go to epson website then over here you can see the support select printer and then enter the model number of your printer or you can select it from whatever is your uh, model number you just enter the product name or you can click on select your printer what kind of printer you have select your model number this is just an example select your series whatever series you have and then select your exact model number and then make sure that the right operating system is selected over here and here you can see the drivers option so click on drivers and you can go ahead and install that printer and scanner driver so click on download install it and after that you can set up your printer once again and that should go ahead and fix the problem and still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and take a help from microsoft virtual agent so copy this link the link is provided in the video description and open this link now this will take you to the microsoft help page and here you can see how to fix printing problems in windows 10 so you can go ahead and select the appropriate issue so for example my printer isn't printing so click on it then it will give you some kind of troubleshooting over here go ahead and perform this troubleshooting still you are facing the problem so you can go ahead and click on no let's try another solution again it will give you some other troubleshooting steps and go ahead and perform these steps and if that does not resolve the problem you can click on no let's try another solution and then keep on trying the solution which is provided by microsoft and that should go ahead and fix the problem so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your epson or hp printer working on windows 10 after updating your windows 10 to the latest version so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel